I can only imagine how you must feel um, today, Maggie, and in some way feeling pride that this is eventually a story that we're talking about and that we're opening up. We're all talking about it. We all know the story now, and that's something you've fought for for such a long time. Yeah, um, it's quite overwhelming, really, because actually it's restored my faith in people because mm. for so long I felt like the odd one out, but I knew that ordinary people would feel exactly the same as me. Yeah. You know, um, I've got four kids, and I was at the, the coal face watching, talking to these kids who have been abused and seeing senior officers allowing it to continue and knowing full well what was going on. Well, can I ask you, Maggie, at what point did you become involved with these investigations? Can you remember oh, God, yeah. exactly the point where you thought this, this is just, this is huge? Well, I was involved in an identical investigation in 2004 and 5, um, where gangs of men were grooming and abusing um, young children. Um, and Greater Manchester Police put together um, a major investigation team to investigate it. Um, in my own personal life, my husband was terminally ill, and um, that investigation had gone to the major incident, and it was a, a, a job that was running. When I came back to work, the, the job was no longer running. Um, and I couldn't understand why, because um, on that investigation, um, two children had told me what was going on, taken to houses um, where there were perhaps 20 men and they were being abused on a, a regular basis. And I felt sick to my stomach when I came back to work. We're watching it last night when young Ruby said about being passed around like That's a That's exactly yeah. what I heard oh, in God. 2005. Yes. But I wasn't in a good place in my own life. I'd just lost my husband, I've got four kids, and I had to let it go. But then I was approached five years later um, by senior officers and asked to become involved in Operation Span and bring on board Amber and Ruby and Lorna um, because the, the abuse had happened two years before. Yeah. Holly had been um, arrested for smashing up the kebab house. Mm. Amber had been arrested on suspicion of being a madam. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, I'm, I, I don't want to, you know, I'm not interested. I don't want to be in that position again mm. um, because it stayed with me. Mm. You know, because if that was my daughter mm. and they opened the heart to me or a police officer, mm. you know, a, 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 a police officer's first duty is to act, is to protect the vulnerable. 